So, in the dashboard of your museum site, uh, we're just in the, the demo dashboard at the moment, The first, one of the first things you want to do is change the design of it, uh, and simply use one of the hundreds of themes that uh, comes included free. Uh, themes will always be free with Muzim. Um So, what we do is scroll through the themes, go to, of course, the design tab, scroll through the themes, find a theme that you like the look of, click on it, and you will see a preview come up. If we like that, we'll click activate cutting. That's the name of the, uh, the theme at the right corner there. And then if we go back to our site and refresh, we'll see that that new theme has taken effect. Obviously without the custom header because it has its own custom header included, so we just have to redo that. Uh, I like that in particular though. <laughs> Perfectly good theme, just don't like it that much. The theme I think we should use for this is... Where's it gone? This one. This is a bit funky. So, activate on the top right hand corner because we get to preview of it beforehand. So then we just go back to our custom image head and we go to browse, find our image, press open and click upload. And here you can see there's a lot of other options for the text that appear over the We'll have a look at that in a second. So here we are with the cropping screen again. So if we put that there, that looks good. There we go, and then click there. Visit your site and you should see the new header now. Okay, let's refresh. There we go, there's our new header. So looking at these uh, this text here we can, as you probably noticed, change that here. So if you wanted to change the colour, so we would simply select, click select text colour and maybe we want to have it uh, fluorescent green. There we go, we would simply uh, I think that's it actually. Oh, save changes, there we go. <laughs> save changes, go to our site, refresh and we can see that it's changed to green. Uh, you'll also notice, it's worth noting, that the title of your site, if clicked on, will always take you back to your home page. So no matter where you are, it'll always go back to your home page from there. Okay, the next thing to look at is this background image uh, tab here. And you'll see there's quite a lot of uh, images here that we can use. And literally, it's simply what it says on the tin these settings will attempt to override the default background and font settings of any theme. And it's simply that. So find a uh, image. Let's just have a look at our site. What would suit it? Let's just see what that would look like. So find an image you like. Then to the left hand side there's a little um, check. What did I forgot? We call the radio button. So just select the radio button of the image you want. Click on save. And then you see a little smiley face, confirms that that's been made. Go back to it and see what it looks like. I think that looks quite good. Of course, you can put whatever you want, just change it back. And if at any point that you want to put it back to what it originally was, just click on default and then click save. So the next thing we're going to look at is the font, which as you might expect, simply changes the font. So maybe we want to use veranda as our uh, well, Veranda, Ariel, Sans Serif, Helvetica and Tahoma as our family, our font family which it already is, so we will use Tahoma Veranda, Ariel, Helve Helvetica, Sans Serif uh, the rule of thumb is that the first one that it says it will try to use and then if the user hasn't got that installed on their computer it will use the next one and the next one and so forth so hit save and little smiley face and then if we want to change the font size maybe we would simply select one of them. So this is what our site looks like so far and the last thing I'm going to briefly show you is this custom CSS. Now really if if you don't know what CSS is then uh, then don't use it basically because um, you might break your site. I mean put what you want in there and then click save. Have a look if you've ruined it just <laughs> put restore defaults. Uh, but basically this is um, 
the CSS is what defines how the site looks, basically the layout and the size of the text, the placement of images, blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. So if you know about CSS, you can put those in there. So that's that. Uh, so you can put it in there, click save, and that's all for now. So there's our site so far.